If you are tired of your Webpack builds taking too long, the quickest solution that I can offer you with the same level of developer features but much improved ergonomics and definitely much improved performance is Wheat. In this lesson, we will look at how you can get started with Wheat building a TypeScript plus React project. So let's go. Getting started with Wheat is pretty easy as it comes with the guided project template creator. We run the command npm init wheat at latest. This will first download the feed package and then run the init command within that. And this will ask us what project name we want, which we will call demo wheat. We will select our framework as React. And of course, we love TypeScript on this channel, so we will use React TS template. Now, if you are familiar with Create React app with the TypeScript template, which is also something that I've demoed on this channel, you will realize that this is much faster compared to that workflow. Now let's jump into our IDE and start playing around with this project. The first thing that you have to do whenever you clone a project that uses npm is run npm install and this is no different. You will however again notice that this will complete much faster compared to a webpack template. Now the first thing that I want to show you in this wheat provided template is the package.json file. Notice that the only wheat specific package that we really need is wheat itself and because we are using react there is one additional wheat provided package plugin React Refresh. We will look at that in a bit. Beyond that, we have the usual suspects for React development, which is React, React DOM, its type definitions, and of course TypeScript itself. We don't need any additional packages for the CLI or the dev server or any of the loaders for TypeScript or CSS and stuff like that. Wheat supports all of that out of the box. The next thing that I want to show you is how our application entry point is configured. It is actually configured from our index.html. If you open that file up, you will see that it has a script tag pointing to our source, which is src main.tsx that script file. We will actually read this index.html and then start compiling our main.tsx file. Within our main.tsx, we have a pretty simple rendering of our app component. And if we dig into the app component, you can see that it is a pretty standard React demo component that you might be familiar with from other React templates. Now let's open up our terminal and run our first script which is what we will be using during development and it's intuitively called npm run dev. This will start up Wheat in dev mode and start serving our application on localhost 3000. Notice again how quickly it booted up. Now let's open up this URL in our browser and see this demo app. As we mentioned, it's a pretty familiar app component with a counter button down the center, which we can click a few times to update the React use state to the value three. Now, if we have the code side by side, we can modify the app component, for example, modify the learn react link to be learn react fast link. And you can see how quickly the UI responded and it preserved the value of use state at value three. And this react specific fast refresh is actually configured from our v.config.ts file. Within this file, you can see that the only real code that we have is the react refresh plugin. As someone who loves TypeScript, there's a lot to admire within this particular file. First off, notice that this file itself is a TypeScript file and Wheat supports TypeScript config files out of the box. Next, Wheat ships with its type definitions. So our config object is actually type checked by the TypeScript compiler as we passed it to the well-typed define config function that we imported from Wheat. Finally, even Wheat plugins come with TypeScript type definitions, which we can see when we hover over the react refresh function. Now let's clean up our workspace a bit and jump back to our package.json to finally build our application and make it ready for deployment. Within our package.json script section, we've looked at npm run dev already, which is what we used for development. The next script that we will look at is npm run build. Notice that our build command actually invokes the TypeScript compiler followed by wheat build. This is because wheat does not do any of the TypeScript type checking as that is something that the TypeScript compiler can do much more efficiently, for example, with its watch mode, or you can even enable it within your IDE. And the only time you actually need to invoke the TypeScript compiler is only for the build time verification to make sure your code still type checks before you push to production. Now we don't need to use the TypeScript compiler to image any JavaScript as that's already done for us by wheat build. So within our TS config within this template, no emit is set to true. This means that we don't end up with any pesky generated JavaScript files within our source folder. Now let's jump back to our package.json and open up our terminal to execute the npm run build command. This will perform a quick type check of our code with TypeScript followed by wheat build, which will generate a production build for us within the dist folder. Notice once more how quickly this completed. 
As someone who works in infrastructure and has done a lot of build in his lifetime, I definitely appreciate the speed as you can probably tell. Now you can ship this disk folder to some cloud provider and yes, lessons for that are coming. But you can also test this production build locally by running the serve command provided by the template. Within our terminal, we execute npm run serve and this starts serving the disk folder on localhost 5000. So now we have two versions of our application running with our dev build on port 3000 and we can compare it to our production build easily running on port 5000. Now comparing Veet to Webpack, there is nothing Webpack specific that I miss as I've swapped over to Veet. And of course the greatest benefit is the performance. There is only so much time that we have in our life waiting for our builds to complete. If you enjoyed this lesson, smash that like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.